we'll repeat the same question, but this time there's friction. And the coefficient of friction between the block and the surface is 0 0.25. As before, we draw our forces. So the one kilogram mass has its weight acting directly down. Once again, we carefully draw the components. One is parallel and the other is uh, 90 degrees perpendicular uh, into the surface. And we draw the components and make sure you have arrows. And pretty much everything is the same except we're going to add one vector that has friction. And we just adopt the equations accordingly. So let's label everything now. That represents the force down the incline. And the 2 kilogram has a longer vector down. It is a greater weight. And of course, there's the tension acting up. And a same magnitude of tension acting on the 1 kilogram mass. And notice the tension is larger than the force down. Now, if it's moving up, that means that we have friction acting down the incline. So let's label everything. This is the weight of the 2 kilogram. It's, double, it's mg. This is the tension. And we have the same tension acting on the 1 kilogram mass. And now the force acting down the incline. And here's the friction also acting down the incline. We know that that side is mg, that's the weight acting down. Theta is in the middle, as we've seen before. I'm trying to squeeze all this in here. And we have mg sine theta is the uh, weight acting down the incline. And mg cos theta, this is how much of that one kilogram mass is pushing into the incline. So, uh, as before, we need to find the acceleration. So we will look at the big picture. So we'll start with the acceleration. And often when you go to find the acceleration, I'm thinking maybe uh, almost always, I think, anyway, you use the big equation formula. So F net is equal to MA. So what does this look like? Well, acting down, accelerating in that direction, we have MG minus FD minus F. That's how, mu how much of the forces are acting on the entire system together as a unit. Um, we have the weight down and we have friction and the force down opposing the total mass is m plus m times a. So now we just put in all of the numbers. Remember, a big mg is 2 times uh, 9.8, and that was 19.6. The force down the incline is the mg sine theta. So we can work that out. And uh, you should be able to almost do this in your head because uh, m is 1, uh, g is 9.8, and sine um, theta is 0.5. You know, 30, sine 30 is 0.5. So that's easy to work out, and you get 4.9 newtons. So it's 19.6 minus the 4.9, and also acting on the system is the friction. Now remember, the friction is mu times the normal force. Mu we've, we've been given, 0 0.25, and the normal force is mg cos theta, how much of that mass is pushing into the incline. So <clears throat> mg cos theta is the normal force. So we put our numbers in. Uh, 0.25 times m, uh, which is the 1, uh, the cos theta is the cos of 30, and when you work it out, you will get, uh, as shown here, and I'm going to write this in full, 2.12176, that's enough decimal places. Uh, you don't want to round it off, not till the end. So all of these are just straight numbers that we can now put into our calculator. The total mass is 3 times a. Well, it's a very easy equation to calculate through the calculator uh, to solve. And we write down a equals, and you work it out. And once again, I'm not going to round it off. I get 4.1927. You know, how far do you take it? I mean, three, four decimal places, it, it doesn't matter.
That's what I get. Now I will use that number when I go to find the tension. And that's what we're going to find next. So we have the acceleration. And now we want to find the tension. So we can pick any equation we want. Let's pick this one here. It's just the easiest. It only has uh, two forces acting. So I have big MG minus the tension, and that's what I want to find is the tension equals big M times A. Well, I know everything, I mean, except for the tension. Uh, remember, A we found in the beginning was 4.1927. <laughs> Uh, meters per second squared, and so I'll put in everything. I have 19.6 minus my unknown tension, and then I will take two times that acceleration. And once again, now I have a very easy equation to solve. Just put that through your calculator. So I solve this now, and you can again check me. Um, I get the tension is 11 newtons. <laughs> So when I go to write the final answer, I'll write them as two significant figures. If someone said, what is the acceleration? What is the tension? I would write it as follows.